Hi everybody, I'm Joey with Create with Joey and I am excited to teach you some crafting things tonight. Whether you're experienced at crafting or you're just getting started or you're just interested in thinking it might be something you would enjoy, I've got some fun tips to share with you. Um, I just have to get my... I'm looking up down at my iPad here to see if I can actually see myself go live. Yeah, and I can. They've changed all the stuff on our um, to go live on Facebook. So I'm never quite sure what I'm going to find when I come in to come in to get set up to go. And usually there's a surprise of some kind. <laughs> Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome as well, and I would love for you to subscribe. If you if you find something that you enjoy, um, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel so you can see future things that I post. I normally post once a week. It's usually um, on Wednesday nights, usually. I had to miss the past two weeks because one week my husband was in the hospital, and the next week I was getting ready to travel out of town. So I missed it, but normally I'm gonna I go live on my Facebook page at on Wednesdays at 6:30 p.m. and then I post it to YouTube right away after that. Hi Pam, thanks for watching. I'm glad you're here. So when you come on, everybody say hi and where you're from. And even if you are watching on YouTube or you're watching the replay, I always love to see where you're from. And then also other people that might be watching, they can also. Uh, see where you're from and sometimes we can make connections that way it's kind of interesting how often a lot of times that we find somebody that we didn't know lived near us or something like that hi Kathy nice to see you I'm so happy oh thanks for sharing that's the other thing what would be lovely if you could do it be to share I would love for you to do that that helps me grow and it also helps people that might not be aware of uh, of what I'm showing that they might be interested in it too so that would be fine and hi Candy you're watching from West Virginia how wonderful what kind of weather is West Virginia having right now we're still in summer here in the Midwest and we are um, it's been pretty warm but not super warm it's been actually pretty nice especially for August I'm coming in good oh excellent it's so good to see you and um, thank you so much Pam I just really appreciate it uh, what was I gonna say your comments take a while to come up so it takes me a while to see him uh, Pam says she hopes Steve is well now Steve is well Steve is my husband and we kind of had a scare uh, about a week and a half ago or so he has blood pressure shot sky high and he was having tingling down his left side of his body so that's not good. So we went to the ER, and I won't tell you the whole long story, but it was a cluster migraine. Hi, Arlene. Thank you for sharing. Hi, Pam. Oh, good. So my friends are, are jumping on. All of my friends are coming. I'm so happy to see you. Anyway, and it was a weird thing. They kept testing him for a stroke, but it turned out to be a migraine cluster, which... He does get migraines, but not like this before. So, several days in the hospital, wanted to make sure he wasn't having a stroke. He wasn't. They sent him home with migraine prevention medication, and most of the symptoms are gone. His headache's completely gone. He does have uh, still some tingling, but we're praying that everything gets back to normal soon. Oh, thank you for the hearts. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kathy. Wisconsin. All right. Excellent. Um, I have friends in Appleton, Wisconsin. Okay, let's get stamping. That's what we're here for, so let's go ahead and get going. Uh, hi, Christy. Yes, I've been flying. So I just got back to, uh, from New Orleans stamping up. I'm a stamping up demonstrator. And if you are a title of Silver or Elite or above, you get invited to come to what's called a leadership conference. It's the first one they've had. And it was, um, it was, I can't even explain to you. I'll probably get teary talking about it, but, well, there I go. <laughs> um, it, I have some good friends that are Stampin' Up! demonstrators that we've developed friendships through the years. And I haven't seen them for three years since COVID. And 
you know, it's just one of those things. We, we haven't been together in large groups because Stampin' Up! hasn't had any in-person events. So, um, so I got to see them. And, you know, sometimes when you spend time with friends, it just fills up your bucket. And, and not only that, but we had fabulous speakers. They were all wonderful, um, encouraging, uplifting. And most of them weren't Stampin' Up! demonstrators. They're, they're people who work in the world of encouraging people that have their own businesses, small businesses, and helping them you know, sort out your priorities and help you find your own voice so that you know, you're the only you. So that was a big part of what they shared. Hi, Char. Oh, thank you. Um, and I, okay, just bear with me. I was hoping to make this a short video because one of the speakers said, you know, the trend right now is short videos. So th this demonstration actually won't take that long. But one of the things they talked about was finding our purpose. And so the first thing that Sarah Douglas did, who's the CEO of Stampin' Up!, she, uh, she said, you know, everybody needs to have their why. I'm gonna cry again, good grief. I, I didn't think I was gonna be crying tonight, but, and I started thinking about why. Why did I start stamping? Why did I become a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? I started stamping because I was in a very um, stressful job. I was a choir director at a very large high school. All my choirs were select choirs. Um, I had never been crafty. I. Never, the last thing I made of any crafty kind was uh, in my seventh grade art class, which was a long, long, long time ago. And um, I had made wreaths for my door and done, uh, you know, a few little things like that. But as far as, you know, making handcrafted things, I really didn't. I'm trying, oh, thanks for sharing. And thank, and hi, Debbie. Oh, it's so nice to see you. Um, so... I had a friend invite me to a Stampin' Up! party, and I had, I, I didn't even know if it was like, you know, stamp collecting of, you know, like paper stamps. I didn't have any idea. So I came and we made some things, and I still wasn't sure I wanted to do this. I didn't have time for a hobby. I was, you know, I was really, really busy with my career, and um, she really wanted to do it. My friend that had the party really, really wanted to do it. So we sat down with the catalog the next day and we went through. She picked out like two stamp sets and I picked out two and we picked out three colors of ink and three colors of paper and we put in our orders. So long story longer, uh, stamping for me began as a social thing because she and I would get together every week because we didn't have a lot of supplies between us. We get together once a week and we make cards for our family. So I had a little file um, in, that I kept all my family's uh, dates in. So I put all the January birthdays and anniversaries in one. Um, February etc so each month had its own file and I knew what I was making cards for so she and I would get together and make cards for for those events um, so it was a social thing for me I loved getting together with her she was my closest friend at the time and um, I suddenly got the bug you know how that goes any of you suddenly get the bug when you started stamping hi Kay um, and I got excited about it and it became a therapy for me. So as much as I um, didn't have time to do it, well, I was finding some time to do it even on my own, which I hadn't done for months and months. So because I just enjoyed it so much and you know, you can sit down and stamp and, and for me, because I loved it, it, the whole world kind of goes away for a while. And not only that, but my assistant principal and a very close friend of mine at school had started stamping, which I didn't even know they had started stamping. Um, and I, we got to talking and they were interested and they didn't know too much about it. And well, I didn't really know that much about it, but I invited them over to bring their stuff and we would stamp together. And before long, I was teaching them everything that I knew, which wasn't a lot. There wasn't Pinterest, there wasn't YouTube videos, all that when we started. So uh, there was Split Coast Stampers, if you've known Split Coast Stampers. If you're not a member of that, there are a lot of postings of samples there. It's a good, a good place to be a member of. But So that was pretty much where I found my inspiration. 
But what I'm trying to say is through all of that, when Sarah was talking about what is your purpose, this is where, gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Every time I think about it, I can't quit crying, obviously. But um, I, I stamp because, first of all, it's creative, and I love that, but it connects me to people. So it connects me to those of you that love it. It connects me to my friends here in Lincoln that come to in-person events. Um, it connects me to my family and friends that I make things for and send things to. And so that is my why. Gosh, I gotta quit talking about it, but that is my why. So if you ever, um, you ever wonder if I'm on here just to sell products or just to show you the latest and greatest, I, I am trying to do those things, but my purpose is my why, I can't just can't say it, is to connect with you, connect with my customers, to help you maybe find a therapy that maybe you don't have yet, or you, maybe you want to develop more, or maybe you love already and you're already using stamping as your therapy or whatever you use it for. So that's a long emotional story that I had no intention of sharing, but that is, that is where my heart's been. So, that whole conference was about, you know, giving of yourself to others, and it just really moved me. It just, it really filled my cup, and it just really moved me to do more of what I do. So, all right, enough of the tears. We need to get on to stamping. All right, let me go ahead, and I have to make an adjustment for my camera. Sorry I'm getting so close. I meant to do this ahead of time, and you're probably looking at my ceiling right now. Um, but I have to get my phone situated to where you'll be able to see better so hang on a second i gotta get rid of the tears are gonna make my makeup run and i did it especially for you so we can't we can't oh thank you thanks you got so oh, you're gonna make me cry again i got i gotta get on to the stamping or i'll be here all night <laughs> just crying all right let me get i've got to click something on my toolbar here i'll go upside down but she'll be right side up so that'll be good um let's go ahead and see if, if you can see what i'm looking at and i can see right now that i forgot to get out okay hold on i'm gonna run and get my sunshade i forgot about the sun so just a second i'll have to really hurry Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Gosh, I'm out of practice, girls. I haven't been here for a couple weeks, and I don't have all my stuff ready. So hang on, i got to make a few more adjustments with my camera. Okay, um, well, I was in New Orleans. The, the, the session was in New Orleans. I don't know if I told you that. If you, watch my, if you follow my Facebook page or even my personal page, you've probably seen that. That's where I was, and it was just an amazing event. No stamping, if you can believe it. It was all on self-care, customer care, um, helping you find your why, all that kind of thing. So, and I loved it. I loved every minute. I would have loved stamping too. But anyway, so while I was there, I have two really close friends, one especially close friend, that said, um, "Are you? have you earned the trip? And I said, no, I haven't really even... I just think I'm way too far away. I don't think I can get there. And they said, well, that they didn't think that was true. They said, let's look at your numbers and let's crunch the numbers. So, gosh, i got to keep adjusting this camera. Hang on. It's, if you get motion sick easy, don't look. It's, my, it's just too low. My camera is too low. I had it low for doing uh, something else with it yesterday. So hopefully that's a little bit better. I know I'll be wonky for a minute, so I'll hang on while I get it adjusted. Anyway, back to the conversation about the cruise. So the trip this year is to the Baltic, uh, it's to Norway actually. So um, we crunched my numbers. We I got out my chart when I got home. And I don't know why my camera is so wonky. Let me go. 
but this way and see if that's better. Anyway, I'll try and get my chart in here. I made this last year for those of you that helped me earn the trip last year. Oh yeah, that was a better way to go with my camera. Um, and this is where I am. This is how much I've achieved with my sales and with my team promotions. I can get this part covered, this end part. So I have this far to go, which I won't lie for one month for September. That That is a big stretch for what my normal sales are. But I have, I'm going to offer a lot of incentives this month. And I'm just, I promised my friends I would go for it. They said, promise me you'll go for it. My friend Corinne and I said, okay, I'll go for it. So uh, because of you, I even have a chance at this and I mean that sincerely with all my heart and last year I had an impossible goal to earn the trip I was I was further behind than this and um, I you know people just really helped me and that is not a plea for you to help me it's just I'm just saying if you are if you've got some things on your wish list that you would like to get knocked out, I will do my best to um, make it worth your while to shop with me this month. Um, and I've got some classes lined up, etc. But I'm gonna I'm gonna share with you where I am each month. You can't see it, can you? So so here's the screen. Uh, I'll share where I'll keep my progress posted with you. I'll show it on my weekly Facebook Live. But it has to be done by the end of September. So I have to close this gap. And this is um, each one of these is a thousand dollars. I did do it last year. I actually did more than that in my last month, and that's because lovely, lovely people said I'm going to help you, and they did. Uh, the other so enough of that. So I did want to say also thank you to those of you that sent me birthday cards. I wanted to go over this quick. I guess we're going to have a long Facebook live tonight. I meant it to be short, but I. Okay, some of you that are out there, you sent me birthday cards and we have never met in person. I, I was just, um, I was floored and I really, that's why I say you're my why of why I do these things because we just need each other. We need each other. So these are some cards I got. This came from my friend Nisha here in town. She was one of the ones that said, uh, you need to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator because you're teaching us everything and we're buying from somebody else. And she's been with me all these years. Uh, this is another one I got from uh, my one of my team in Colorado. This one, so this is a tag. This is a, If you bought a class, class from me, if you took this class from me, you got this tag. And so this customer of mine, she, I know it says thank you, not happy birthday, but she wanted to thank me and tell me that she uses my tags on her cards. So when I send out class kits every month, I always have at least a tag, sometimes another extra little gift. So just so you know that um, she uses her. So that was kind of fun. So this is a happy birthday. This is from my friend and fellow stamper, Lori Heiling. You might follow her. She's super talented. Uh, this is from a friend in town. Um, she's a stamper. Was stamping before I was. This is my friend Cheryl from the internet. Hi, Kathy. Oh, Cheryl, you're on. Here's your card you sent me. Thank you so much. And hi, Kathy and Pam. You, okay, sorry, I missed some comments there. Um, Kathy, it's so nice to see you tonight, too, sincerely. Uh, this came from Kathy Strange. I think I saw her name on here uh, earlier. And this came from Char. Char, I think I saw you on tonight too this is a gorgeous card there's wink of stella on it um a sweet note thanking her for, for my facebook lives thanking me and anyway i just had to show you and say thank you so much because you know i don't get to connect with you in person and i love connecting with you online all right i do have some fun things to show you so we're going to get started all right, these dies are called the Aspen Tree dies, and I bought this these dies mainly for this. It, they, uh, this die. I can, I grew up in Colorado. My family's there, and many of my close friends are there. These dies coordinate with this stamp set. There is a Christmas 
saying here, but there's also other kinds of sayings to your kindness warms my heart, wishing you abundant joy and peace. I love those. I no matter the season I'm here for you. Gosh, you guys, I can't I don't know if I can do my Facebook live tonight because I'm gonna keep crying. Um really, really stop try to stop this nonsense. Okay, um so these two dies, this is the branch and this is the bird. So if you just got the dies, you um, you would have two extra ones if you didn't get the stamp set. But here's the thing, this is on sale, not on sale, but this is a free celebration for a $100 order. So I wanted to show you some things with it tonight, just in case you hadn't really taken a close look at it. Let me get my packet of stuff out here and we'll get started. Um, I have a piece of, I don't want to give away my project. I want you to be surprised. So I have a piece. I think this is four by five and a quarter. Okay, I'm going to give you a little bit of a hint about this. Well, that'll be okay for this particular card. No, no, it won't be. Hang on. Yeah, it will be. Okay, so first we're going to die cut this. Let me grab my... Stamp and cut and emboss machine. Let's back it up. Oh, Char, you got it? Good, excellent. You know, I think it's kind of a, a sleeper, honestly. So I wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to see it. So if they hadn't thought too much about it, they might think a little bit more about it because it's a $30, $32 die that you can get right now for a $100 order. So let me, I'm using a little bit of washi tape on this and we're just gonna cut this out. Um, it cuts really easily too. I'm just thinking through, I think I forgot to cut one piece of cardstock and I did, I'm, hang on, I gotta look through my packet of stuff so I don't recut something I don't need to, yeah, I need to cut one more piece, but I'll do that in just a moment. So, and it's probably good I didn't do it because I'll show you what I think is important about this as far as getting started with this die. So everything comes out really easily. Watch this time it won't. See, it just falls out now. That's what it's been doing for me consistently, and I've made quite a few cards with it. Let's get rid of that stuff. And then, um, I do have to just grab another piece of black cardstock, and we'll get my paper trimmer out. So while we're, I'm getting organized here, I would like to know your why of why you got started stamping. I told you why I started stamping and why I became a demonstrator both. But I would like for you to type in the, hi Carol, um, type in the comments what, what you, what got you started stamping or who got you started stamping and why you stamp. I'm really interested in that. Okay, so now I told you this was four by five and a quarter. If I didn't tell you, I meant to tell you. So this is four by five and a quarter, which is pretty much a common measurement we use when we're putting a layer on the front of our card. Okay, so this one, here's what I wanna tell you. So we're gonna put a layer under this, and it's gonna also be black, although we're gonna put washi tape on it, but you need the next layer to be just a little bit smaller. So I went down a little bit over an eighth of an inch, maybe an eighth and a tick, which a tick, I call that a sixteenth. So we're gonna cut this here, then we're going to go to, normally this would be five and a quarter, so we wanna come down here at least, and so maybe five and a sixteenth. Okay, let's make sure I didn't cut that too small. So, yeah, that's just perfect. And the reason you want it a little bit smaller is because it's easier to glue it that way. So now I'm gonna show you something really cool that we're gonna do with this. So I'm gonna take a little bit of washi tape. We're gonna play with washi tape. And I'm going to use my grid paper. If you don't have grid paper, Stampin' Up! sells it. It's well worth it. It's $11, I think it's $11, but you get a huge, huge pack of it. 
So um, it's really nice to have these little squares and then also has the numbers at the bottom and on this side. I don't know if you can see all that. Hopefully you can. Okay, now the reason I taped it down, or if you have graph paper at home, that would work too. I'm going to start with, we're going to use all these. Well, we're not going to use black. So we're going to use washi tape. And then what I'm going to do is go straight down the, well, not straight down the middle. I'm going to actually go where my, I'm going to go where this middle line is and line it up with this guy. So I got to, trying to not get my head in the camera. I'm going, I'm lining it up with the grid paper and I'm going right across like, like so, okay? And once you tape tear, so you can just tear it off like that. Then I'm going to take, let's see, let's do orange next on the next side of this. And I'm going to do the same thing. Now this washi tape is just a tiny bit under a fourth of an inch. So you can't actually continue to line up your lines. But if you get this first one straight, you're going to be in business. So then we're just going to alternate these. So we're going to go purple, orange, green, etc okay and purple i'm trying to look at your comments while i do this purple diane it was something your girls could do together with you and then your son-in-law joined us oh how fun i haven't gotten my brothers in law i've gotten a couple of my sisters in law stamp and do crafts with me uh one is very avid the other just kind of comes to f retreat once in a while or things like that but whoops that's crooked try and read your comments which isn't helping um char you're re you're a retired florist you had your medical issues required you to do something less stressful she stamped since 1998 i make my cards and sell them for fundraisers only 100 percent goes to oh that is so nice see what we do for our other people i just think stamping is all about other people so we've got uh well it's about us too let's not lie we we have fun with it and we buy stuff so it's for us too so i kind of have to figure out what i'm doing here purple next Okay, I'm not going to actually do this whole thing because I have already done it, but you get the idea. Okay, and then you just go backwards with your colors. So once you've gotten here, you've got this washi tape stuck down, so you don't really need these corners because you're going to cover the whole thing with washi tape. Make sense? Okay, and then, then what I did is I just took the washi tape and I just peeled, I just folded it over on the back and stuck it. I didn't try to cut it or anything like that. So obviously this whole thing would have been filled and I have one done, so we'll use that one in a minute. But first, before we do that, well, this would be cute just like this. Look, you could just put something cute in the middle like this. You don't even need to do the whole thing. But the point I'm showing you tonight is how to use this die. So uh, give you an idea for that. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is I've got my, um, this set, this stamp is called Bewitching, and it looks like this. So cute. Um, I'm using the, these on my uh, fall retreat. This is one of my fall retreat classes where we're doing cards, and I just sent out that email today. We're doing cards and Halloween treats, and then we're also doing a Christmas Scotty class it's all one one a one day retreat but it's also available for those of you who aren't here and you can't come in person so it's available to go as well got to get out my paper so if you're not on my email list and you want to see things like that um and you want to know what's going on with me let, be sure you sign up for my email list. In fact, I'm going to take just a minute here, and I'm going to put the link in uh, in the comments. So if you're or if you're on YouTube, I'll have it in the video description. So let me get my 
pull my sorry my I'm trying to get it off my computer so I can post it and I'll put it in the comment right now so if you're not on my email list you can find it Kathy says that her girlfriend got her started Stayed with that demonstrator until my five sisters convinced me to come and demonstrate and they keep me busy with their orders and get together. Oh, that's really, see, it's just so much about getting together with people and doing things for other people. That's, that's definitely how I started. Okay, I'm going to press this all the way up here and I'm going to use, this is just washi tape around. It looks like I need new washi tape for sure, but it just helps you handle the magnet a little better and i'm going to take out my and i'm not in the camera so let's fix that i'm going to take my i've already made several cards with this so that's what we're that's why you're seeing seeing um that i've already been stamping with this so i'm going to use my mental black my mental black and i'm using my stamparatus because i want this really dark black so with my stamparatus, see, it's, 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 it's not stamped badly, but when you're doing um, water-based ink, which the memento ink is, when you're stamping with water-based ink on colored cardstock, first of all, you need to give it a little bit longer to absorb into the cardstock, and then you want to use your stamparatus. If you don't have one of these, they're also worth having. Um, you don't really need... Um, acrylic blocks if you have if you have a stamparatus so we're just going to get this a little bit blacker that's pretty good we'll go with that all right so we've got that going then let's go ahead and I'll grab my punch And we'll get this. Now, I might have to cut off some of this. Oh, no, maybe not. Yeah, I have to cut off a little bit. I forgot to put my stamp at a better angle. So I just have to cut off enough to get my, get this to work. So I'm lining it up. Hopefully I'm in the camera. Lining it up like so. And we're going to do this. And all we're going to use tonight is the witch's hat. Well, we're going to use part of it. We're going to use something else, too. Forgot about it. So let me show you something else I did. I took... So the washi tape is Highland Heather, um, pumpkin pie, black, obviously, and oh i think old olive so I, what i did is i put strips of washi tape down on the paper like that does that make sense and then i was able to punch out the brims of the hat so i've made several you can see i've done green and purple and orange we're gonna go with orange tonight no let's go with green we'll do something different than i did on my other one so we'll grab our punch back and then we'll just get this lined up in the punch and then we can just use it as if it was green sparkle paper cool huh so let me get that punch for you and then we'll go ahead and take a little glue and I'm gonna put that right on my hat now when you're using Tombow you know you have to be a little bit sparing because it's really easy to have a muddy mess if you're not careful put this on like that and then we've got our cute little sparkly band on our witch hat to match our card all right we need a greeting um we're for the greeting i'm going to use uh this stamp set um best witches i also did use these greetings for my fall retreat but the rest is done with the the rest of my cards and projects are done with the bewitching bundle so if you had any halloween greetings which if you've been stamping for a while and you like halloween you probably have some halloween greetings 
that you could use. So if you were interested in purchasing that, um, the retreat for the whole day for 10, 10 projects, all cut and prepped, and the tutorials for every single project is $60. So, and all the envelopes are included. Everything's included except the candy in the, the candy that's in the, for the treat, the treat boxes. So, I'll get this down. If you're on my team, it is $5 less, so they get a little break in the cost. So, for the best, I'm going to put this, hopefully I'm going to get this straight. I'm going to put it a little bit to the left. And there, did pretty good with that. Not too bad, we'll take that. And Pam, your niece got you started 22 plus years ago. You made a Christmas card every year. Then with COVID, we started getting demos on Facebook and could order through the demonstrators. And now I'm hooked more than ever. Yeah, I get that, it's easy to get hooked. Um. Let me keep going here. I'll, Pam has more. I'll try and look at it in a minute. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's. So, so here's what I did. You know, covering the whole strip of this. That's exactly how I did it. You can see on the back how I showed you. I folded it over and then I glued it together. So we're going to put that on a Highland Heather card. I think that's a wow. I was really excited about this. I saw this idea. Uh, I didn't make the same card, but I did see the idea that uh, someone else made, but I don't really remember who it was. But I changed it up quite a bit, but the idea of having the glitter paper, the glit the washi tape on the um, card stock and then using it as paper, that idea I saw, saw somebody else do. So I'll get this on here. And then let's get our, well, let's kind of figure out how this is going to go together. So, you know, my hut, my brother's family is super crazy about Halloween. I mean, they're, they're just kind of nuts, nuts. So they do decorating, they do elaborate costumes, you know, it's just, it's not what I do for Halloween. I, we hand out candy to the kids um, and really that's, pretty much it but i do send them cards so this will be going to him this could be a birthday card somebody that you that really likes halloween this actually could be my brother's birthday card his birthday is october 1st which might be a little early for a halloween ish type card but best witches witches could be for a birthday okay let's stick this little hat like this Okay, and there you are. Let's go ahead and put an inside in this card. And we can stamp something on the inside. I'm not prepared. Um, we could do... Uh, we could do this cute little frog in green. So let's do that. We'll grab him. And... Let me get a block. Sorry, I wasn't prepared for the inside. I'll be quick about it. And I'll grab, uh, I think let's go really bright green. Let's go with, well, it says old olive, doesn't it? So we'll go with the color of the washi tape, although I would have been tempted to go with something. I think this frog is cute. It's a cute little frog. There we go. We got our little frog on the inside. Remember to stamp something cute on the inside of your cards. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you guys love it. Thank you so much. Um, I've got other cards to show you, so don't. I know we're just about done with this one, but I have quite a few to show you that I made. We're not. Oh, the, oh, my frog went the wrong way. The, oh, yeah. Oh, well. Okay, hang on. I'm busy looking at your comments and stuff. So, Sunny. Oh, you, Pam, you saw a video? I didn't see it on video. I I just saw a card on Pinterest or somebody's, I don't know, somewhere along the way. I saw a card using the washi tape as putting it on your paper and then using it like cardstock. But I 
I'll have to go look for it. I'm sure I can find it on YouTube or Facebook. I'll just do a search and see if I can find it. But it's kind of fun. I won't lie. It's a little bit tedious, you know, let's face it, to put down those under quarter inch strips of washi. But, okay, this is worth it. You know, for, for the, a few special people in your life that like Halloween, this is, I think it's, I think it's the perfect card. So there's that. But you can do more. You can do more with that, which I want to show you in just a minute. Um, oh, but before I do that, I want to show you a couple things. So I am running a special right now, um, and I am doing this partially to help uh, to earn the trip on my last my last leg. This is I'm giving away ten cards. Um, I'm giving away a current embellishment and a surprise embellishment. This happens to be my friend Kelly's. She also wanted the tree lot die, so she put in a $100 order. But, um, so for every $50 order, you're getting something like this. It won't be the same embellishment, probably. It won't be the same ribbon. It will be a current embellishment out of the catalog. And I'll send all these to you for just a $50 order, but you must use this host code. So please be sure that you use that host code and it ends tomorrow. So you have to make sure you get your order in tonight or, or in the morning. Now, if you want the dies, um, I do have two more sets of these dies. Kelly got one. If you, if you, but this has to be for a hundred dollar order. So the, these are the tree lot dies. They sold out right away. Um, and so I, I had a few extra sets. So this is one card I made with the little tree lot dies. This is another one. We did this on Facebook Live. Uh, this is one my team members made with the tree lot dies and she paired it with some mountains. This is another one I made uh, that I didn't get to do because it sold out so soon. I had this ready for Facebook Live and we didn't get to do it. And then in my Santa class, I used it um, on my Santa Express class and we did these cards. Although by the time I my customers got this class, I had to use a different tree because it was already sold out. But if you didn't get it or you want one for someone else, then you can, uh, if you put in a $100 order and you use this, and if you're intimidated by ordering online and it isn't really always the easiest, just, just shoot me a note or email me and I'll help you with your order. So you can message me on Facebook or this is Kelly's, so I got to keep all her stuff together. Um, I'll just set it aside though. But before you go, oh, and then also for August, and then I always give my tutorial bundle. And this one, there are, I think, 33. Anyway, there's a whole bunch of tutorials. A lot of them are fancy folds, too. Uh, and they're all current. There's no retired product. Not, they're not all the new mini catalog projects, but a lot of them are. So if you're interested in that. All right, so let me show you what else I made with this die. So to be honest, I came down this morning and I made, now these I didn't make with scraps on my desk, but these were my in color cards this month. Um, oops, not that one. Whoops, where are they? For my in color club, I make them all uh, a card in their color for the month. So I made this with the dies. This is before I knew it was going to be, you know, um, available with a hundred dollar order. So then I came down this morning and I keep my scraps. I don't know if you do this, but I keep like my die cuts and things like this. Um, my extra ones, I've just been keeping them in a little case. So actually you can see in this case where I got some of this stuff. So there was my, one of my tree dies and then I got had a pumpkin. So I pulled some stuff out of there to put together some other cards. So look at this one. This is with the same dies, and I paired it with the Hello Harvest. Hello Harvest? Yeah, I think so. Set. So there's that one. Uh, for this one, I used the snowflake paper. Can you see that it's the vellum, the special vellum? I made it a Christmas card, and then this vellum is in that same group of vellum. I don't know what that's called. 
Oh, the frog is cute. It is really cute. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's look for it. Okay, I'm going to show you two things. I have, I have more cards to show you, so don't, so don't leave me yet. I've got some more to show you. I wanted to first show you. And you know what? I had this marked in my catalog for Pete's sakes. I had, I get so organized and then I get on Facebook Live and it's like, oh, it's not in that one. Is it in that one? Nope, it's not in that one. Okay, well, that's operator error again. Which if you watch me before, you know there's a lot of operator errors. It's in this catalog. So it is on page... Um, the aspen tree dies and the perched in a tree stamp sits on page 46. So you can see it there. I got to click. I got to plug my iPad in. All these issues, you know, sometimes life. Okay, so there's that. Let's, let's go ahead and look at the samples on page 46. So you can see more of what you can do with this. Okay, so these are the, some of the samples in the book. So page 46, the number is, well, if you just want the dies, the number is 159798. So you, what you could do on your $100 order to get the dies, you could put the perched in a tree stamps if you like those. Um, if not, then you can just get the dies. So that, as I said, it's a $30 it's normally a $30 product, so it's a really good buy. So then I did this one. I had these leaves already cut out, so I did this one. I made this one a Christmas card. Um, and I didn't cut out any of these trees this morning, and I didn't really cut out any of the leaves either. So here's one with the gnome set. I just started playing with this, and I'm going to offer a pop-up class with this, either for in-person or online. The in-person one will be a week from Saturday. I don't have it marketed yet. I don't have it online. I have all my cards made. So if you're interested in the gnomes, these gnomes have kind of grabbed my heart. At first, I was like, I don't know if I like the braids on that one. But anyway, so this one I put, this is a gnome paper. I put a snowflake in the back of it. And then I had some of these scraps in my bag, so I put the little bear hello happiness happiness something um made a little card with that so i had i got about six cards made this morning and, and because i had had a lot of the the trees already cut actually had all of them already cut and i just made cards to go with them so what do you think of that um i Oh, I have one more thing to show you. I used the, the dies for it. If you're still hanging there with me, I'll show you. Um, so this is also part of my fall retreat. It's my fall sampler with Hello Harvest. I have to see if you can actually see it in the screen. It looks like you can. But see, I used the dies there. Um, I used the big leaf up there. I'll have to turn this upside down. I used the big leaf there. This is available as a class. Um, if you take the fall retreat, it's only $25 more to add all this. You get the paper, the gems, uh, the ribbon. Um, if you order it just by itself, you which you can, it is $40. So that's that. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Oh, thank you so much. I just appreciate it so much, you guys. So there we have it. Now, what I want to happen is I want you to make something and share with me because I felt this week and I thought, you know, my friends that are online, I tend to just do all the sharing. So I would love for you, you can come on my page that you're on the Create with Joey page and you can just do a comment. I think you can comment anywhere. You could comment under the video and you could uh, just post your photo there. So we would love to see what you're working on too so oh thanks kathy thank you diane i'm so happy you guys are enjoying enjoying my cards i was excited to share excited to share them with you and excited to see you it's been three weeks now i hope that's not going to happen again as far as tomorrow night goes um usually wednesday is my night but 
Um, I wanted to get tell you about my special going on and show you about my trip tracker and share my weekend with you because it was so fabulous. Um, and I will try, I have an idea for tomorrow night, it's just time. I have to get my known class uh, marketed and I have to uh, do some stuff. Because I was gone, I haven't even unpacked my bag. So <laughs> I came right to the Sam studio and thought, I'm so excited. I get to see my friends on Facebook this week. And anyway, so I would love to see what you're watching. Thank you, Arlene. I'm glad you enjoy it. Char, you're welcome. So, so lovely to see all of you. And uh, thanks for sharing the video. And just thanks for being my friends. Okay, love you guys. See you next time. Bye.